Hi everyone, uh, you've joined me today uh, as I am about to spray the chassis. So yesterday I did all the stripe coating with a brush, so uh, it's uh, got into all the, all the nooks and crannies, all the difficult places to get into. And uh, behind me you can see the, uh, the chassis, so I'll take you around it and just, just to show you a little bit of a close-up as to what I'm doing. But we're almost ready to, uh, to spray it now, so, so uh, stay tuned. So yesterday I did uh, did some stripe coating, which is basically using a brush to get into all the little nooks and crannies where it's difficult to get into. So it doesn't look great at the moment, but I've got into all the little nooks and crannies where the spray gun might produce a bit of a vortex and uh, and not cover properly. I've also gone over all of the all of the edges as well with the uh, with the epoxy mastic. So it's it's covered all the edges so obviously it'll spray uh, as a spray it'll cover the edges again but, uh, but here we go so decided to uh, put it on its on its side to spray because I've got some room then to uh, to put the bikes back in put a wire through the chassis there some strong wire on the hook there so that's being held up by there it's uh, it's quite a nice flat box section so it's uh, it's not it's not going anywhere. Uh, I feel quite happy that it's that it's secure. So I've positioned the uh, the uh, trestles so that it is in an area where the suspension will be because obviously once it's painted, I'll have to just bl blend those blend those areas in. So at the front here, again, that's uh, that's behind where the suspension will be. So I couldn't figure any other way to do it, but obviously um, I will I will. Blend that in when I finish it, and um, and, and put it back onto its uh, into its right orientation. So just gone around the garage and uh, masked up with some polythene the areas that I can best reduce dust um, under the bench. I've covered it with a big sheet. I'm about to uh, about to start to uh, start some mixing. I've got my scales there. Uh, I've got me, got me cloths, got me panel wipe, so I'm just going to panel wipe it all down now and uh, mix it and spray it. So we've got the, uh, the hardener and the black mixed in the pot at 50 at 1 to 1 relationship and then the weight of the total weight of that I worked out at 15% is thinner, so there's 15% of the weight of that in there which is the the thinnest so uh, that has to wait for 10 minutes or another four minutes or so to wait there are the components are mixed up you give it 10 minutes to uh, to start the reaction going uh, and then the thinners will go in quick mix into the uh, the filter into the gun airline up to the gun and now i can start spraying happy days so only me, uh, just finished putting the uh, second coat on the other side of the chassis after I flipped it over this morning. So leave that to dry and I shall come back in tomorrow and put some more on. The, uh, the gun I bought to do this job was recommended to me and it's not an expensive one. I think it was about £30 or thereabouts from uh, eBay and uh, here's a couple of pictures of it. I've actually gone for the 2.2 air cap and I've actually have had absolutely no problems at all spraying this product with that. It's been, it's gone on really nice. So day three of the chassis spraying, um, just protecting the chassis with the, with some old towels while the, the chains rattle around. What I'm doing now is uh, I've just took the, I took the hook off that was holding the, uh, holding the chassis up through this, through the hole there that I made for the rubber bung um, while I sprayed it. So what I'm, what I'm going to do now is, before it falls over, is uh, lay, it, lay it flat on the trestles today and uh, spray the top side. The other thing I've got to blasting away now is the dehumidifier. I've turned it up to max on 45%. It's going to get a bit of rain today. You can see it. Obviously, the display now, but um, that's going to take it down to 
hopefully 45 percent we're at 50 at the moment 50 and 12 so it should warm up where are we 10 to 11 so probably around about midday one o'clock i'll keep an eye on the temperature leave that running and then i'll uh, switch it off just before i start spraying because i don't want to suck epoxy resin dust through the filter because that will just uh, just spoil it so uh, yeah quite pleased with it it's looking quite good now so it's always best to keep flipping it round and, and spraying it from different angles because you always miss you always miss something or a little bit or it gets a bit thin in some areas but yeah I'm pretty pleased with the way this is turning out so uh, yeah it's a little bit thin on there. It's uh, it's it's a nice paint. I like the finish, but the thing is, it, it it kind of looks almost matte. I think it's a satin, supposed to be a satin finish, but it looks uh, looks pretty matte to me. Maybe I'll put a um, a couple of quite wet coats on now, just to uh, see if I can get the get the sheen up a little bit. But anyway, it's on, and uh, it's uh, really good stuff. It uh, should protect the chassis for many, many years to come. Just looking at the sensor on the wall, it's uh, coming down to 47% humidity and 13%, thir sorry, 13 degrees centigrade. So, so that's good. We're getting there. So, uh, I'll leave the compre leave the dehumidifier running. <coughs> um, the compressor is inside the garage. So, what that means is it's taking the air in from within the garage. So, it's taking air in with only well hopefully get down to 45 percent so it's taking air in at 45 percent moisture um obviously compressing it gives you more moisture in the airline but i've got my various ways of getting the moisture out and the, the last thing i've got is uh i'll just spin it around and show you uh as a little air trap so, uh, the there's the gun and uh there's a little moisture trap um which is the very last uh, port of call so um keeps the moisture out of the uh, out the airline so that's what you want nice dry air going through to your through to your paint going through my air system obviously the compressors under there uh, and the first first uh, uh, line of defense for moisture is the um, the first the regulator with uh, an auto drain on it so then it runs along behind there and uh, there's a copper matrix there in the middle of the screen uh, that is at the bottom of that there's four four uh, stop cocks so I can drain any moisture out of each leg of the matrix next in my system is what is called uh, a water separator this is the dropout unit on the right here a very expensive unit but it's supposed to separate 99.99 percent .99 of moisture out of the line then it goes through to a second regulator which controls the air pressure to my blasting cabinet in between these two I have uh, an air outlet for my flexible hose which goes up to my gun my whole system is PCL high flow uh, in order to get the best um, performance from the system just uh, as of interest this is the kitchen door so it goes from the garage straight into the kitchen so what I've done is I've, uh, I've taped that's up with masking tape, so effectively sealed the door and uh, all the way around. And uh, good news is there's no smell going in the kitchen, so uh, so that's awesome. Uh, obviously got myself a, a spray suit to wear, and uh, that uh, keeps all the uh, keeps all the, the fluff from your clothing inside, so it doesn't get onto the onto the job. What I do is now that's sealed up. Is I, uh, I go in and out of the uh, into focus. There we go. Little door at the back of the garage, so I have to go in and out via there, which is not a problem. At least it keeps the smell out at uh, the kitchen. Um, what I'm doing now is I push the chassis over to the left, uh, which gives me room to uh, get to the bench to mix up the paint, etc. And then I shall spray. I shall spray the centre section of the chassis. Uh, mainly this side to start with then I shall move it all over spray the other side from the top and then I can do the front and then finally uh, finally the back 
and then just leave it to dry. And hopefully I've got enough space to get the bikes in later on. So that's it uh, flipped over. And if we just take a little look, um, that's a little bit of, uh, it's not through to the chassis, but it's a little bit of scuffing on the on the paint because it's not not fully cured so that was just on top of the trestles so i think i'm uh just a little bit there as well not a lot just a little tiny bit so that'll that'll paint over anyway whenever uh, when i do this final final coat underneath but um yeah i was right to uh right to put some toweling on it so uh, that will protect it So that's the uh, final coat of uh, paint applied to the chassis now. I'm very happy with the results. So here is a quick look around the chassis, a quick close-up look around the chassis. So you can see how well it's covered and, uh, and the finish that I've got on this, uh, on this chassis. I've still got a little bit of paint left over. And what I'll be using this for is for the front suspension towers, which I've decided to spray in the same paint that I've put on the chassis, the EM one to one, as opposed to powder coating them. That's the uh, that's the finished result on the on the chassis. Really pleased with how it turned out. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're enjoying the content so far, then uh, don't forget to please click the like button, hit subscribe, and uh, also hit the bell icon as well, so you get uh, you'll get all the uh, notifications of future updates. So uh, stay tuned because there's plenty more to come.